YouTube, what is going on? It's your boy, The Wolf Blitz. We are back at it again with another haircut tutorial. I'm going to be doing a mid fade on my boy right here. I'm going to show you guys step by step what I do to achieve this type of look. I'm show you guys easy, simple steps. And hopefully you guys like them and let me know what you guys think about them down below in the comments. Other than that, let's get right into it. It's your boy, The Wolf Blitz. Let's get it. So first what you want to do is start off by wetting your client's hair, damping it up. That way we can maneuver it pretty easily and get it in the right uh, way I need it to lay. That way we can come in and do the little horseshoe part and just, we're going to do a horseshoe part all around. That way we can uh, give, try to get it as nice as possible so we can blend into the bowl. Like I told you guys before, I do like to create shape before I start any type of fade. As you guys can see, we are pulling his hair down where it wants to lay over on its own. And we're going to pull out about half an inch and just go all around and around his parietal ridge and just create some. Basically, we're just creating shape. That way, we can come in and blend it into the top and keep some bulk. Because I do, you do not want to make it where it's super, super rounded off on his parietal ridge. It's just not going to look right. It's not going to sit right. So what you want to do is create some, some shape and keep it pretty much a little bit more heavy around his parietal ridge. Go all around, do not be afraid, just pull it out as much as you, got, you need to. I do about half an inch just to just to play on the on the safe side. But we are gonna come in with clipper over a comb, that way we can just finish it off and really um, get that nice shape I'm going for. So for the top we are going to cut up about half an inch almost almost an inch not really an inch but about half a little more than half we are just going to go straight back and just pretty much just follow the same guideline as you guys can see that i'm, I'm cutting right there we are going to cross check it as well This is how you want to cross check it, just basically go all throughout his head sideways and you'll see every little hair that you missed and just make, it sh make sure it's even. As you guys know me, I do like to blow dry it every, every time I do the top just to get a nice, um, a nice styling going type of style. Um, as well, it helps me with creating shape as well. You do want to go off of your client's head shape. I do add a little bit of hair texture just to give it a little texture on the top, nothing crazy. What you want to do first is go in with your number two guard, lever fully open, just go straight up all the way to his pride ridge. Not really digging in, just going straight up and using my comb to feed in the hair as well as we go straight up with it. You do want to do this all around his head, that way you can get all the bulk out um, at the beginning and just save you some time as well. Just make sure you don't dig in into, on his pride or ridge and just go straight up with it. Next, what you want to do is grab your clipper over comb and we are going to be just connecting the top to the bottom as best as possible. Does not have to be perfect, but once again, we are creating shape with this as well. Just going all around his parietal ridge and making sure it's connected and blended in nice to the top. When doing clipper over comb, just make sure you do pull it out 
um, not really digging in because you are you will take a big chunk out and it will be hard to recover from that so it will make you push up the blend eventually so just make sure you pull out towards you and just really just get all the baby hairs you can and just create um, nice solid foundation that way you can get that nice shape going guys I can't stress that enough you got to keep the shape really nice and pretty much you got to create shape to have overall clean cut as well Once you finish the clip over comb, we are going to be setting in our first initial bald guideline, which we are going to, it is going to be a mid fade. It's technically a drop, but not over exaggerated drop. We're just going to keep it at an angle. That way it fits his head shape nice and flush. You do want to keep it under his occipital bone. That way it, if you go too high with it, it's just going to pop out and it's going to look pretty crazy in the back. So this all has to do with uh, creating head shape as or creating shape as well to your client's head because that's why I stress that a lot is creating that head shape will get you a nice good looking overall haircut and that's really what your client will look for is a nice it, it doesn't even have to be a nice fade crazy fade but if it fits his head perfectly as in head shape it will it will um, make your client very happy. Next what you want to do is grab your half guard lever fully closed and create about another inch guideline. You do want to go out throughout his head and really just have a nice neat guideline. If you have a nice guideline throughout the whole fade, every time you set in your new guidelines, your fade's always going to come out pretty buttery. So just remember that, keep that in mind, do not be sloppy with it, just make sure it's it's um, you put in the guideline nice and even and just as best as you can and I promise you, you'll get that nice fade. Next, what you want to do is grab your, it doesn't have to be the Oster Fast Feet, it can be a regular clipper, your regular wall, baby list, whatever, gammas, all that. And we're just going to take out the first initial bald guideline we had created, and we're just going to keep it closed. And if you have to, open it about a quarter, no more than like halfway, it's going to come right off. Just play with it until you see it come off and just leave it alone. Whenever you go in with the half guard, what, what this does, it does create, um, whenever you're taking out this line, it does make it easier and it does leave it a lot smoother in the very first guideline. So you'll get that nice buttery effect. Pretty easy, instead of going with the no guard open, this is going to make it a lot easier for you guys to take it out and make it look, look a lot smoother. So once we do that and take it out, we're going to come in with our trimmers, our zero gap trimmers and just take out any little stubbles that my, my clipper didn't get and just go right on there and flick right out. Next what you want to do is grab your one and a half guard lever fully closed and create about another inch guideline right on top of the one we just blended out. Just go out throughout his head, like I say, and just make it nice and even and neat. If you get the, those steps down, where you wanna just make it real smooth, just make sure your guidelines are nice and even and that's gonna bring everything together. I promise you that. So 
right here we go back to our number one guard lever fully open and we're gonna put we're gonna put it right where we did the one and a half guard lever fully closed right on it and just go all the way to the top again just remember right here just keep the blade flat and you'll be straight just keep it all the way flat right here we are gonna close it halfway once we finish this first step right here we will be closing it halfway and just creating basically we're just gonna keep it a little bit now underneath and just still keeping the blade flat that way we can get a nice smoother transition because if you flick you're gonna leave a lot more dots in the fade and when you keep it flat it's like you're sanding down the hair instead of really flicking out so if you think about it when you sand the hair down it leaves more of a smoother texture and when you flick on the fade it's gonna leave more of a, a dot um, more more like holes in the fade so that's really the key to really having that nice clean smooth uh, blend is to keep that blade flat and sand down the hair basically so as you guys can see right here this is number one guard still with the lever fully closed and we're going right in the middle keep in mind it's not going to take out the line completely it's just softening it up as much as possible whenever you see the the blend not getting lighter the the ghost line just leave it alone that means you're done with the one guard and you can go on to your next step which will be this right here the the half guard lever fully closed and we're gonna basically just utilize our corners and now you can give it more of a flick and just attack all the little dark spots you see and this is going to bring your blend together pretty nicely so basically right here what i'm doing i'm just using using my corners and just flicking out give it more of a flick out with this step but you do have to be careful because you can't push up the blend so once you see the little dark spot lining up just leave it alone and go on to uh to the rest of the fade that way you don't spend too much time and, cr and have ocd about it and then you're gonna end up pushing up the blend super high and that's not what you want to do So right here, basically, we're just um, cleaning up any little dark spot that my half guard couldn't get. We just jump back down to our Auster Fast Feed or whatever clipper you got and just detail work. Basically, just polishing the blend. That way, it can be nice and solid whenever you do finish up. Keep in mind, this is all detail work. We still got a couple steps left to connect the top to the bottom. This is just, we're just polishing up the blend. So right here to connect the top to the bottom we are taking our number two guard lever fully open and now we're just gonna go straight up again not really digging into it as you guys can see there's like more of a dark um, ghost line and that's where we're gonna soften up that way it just connects nicely to the bottom right after we do the number two guard we do come in with our one and a half guard lever fully open and do the same exact thing just go straight up right at the dark spots and just you're going to see them lining up and everything's going to come together smoothly. I do like to keep my blends nice and compressed. Um, I will eventually show you like a stretched out blend, but this is the way I like to set up my, my haircuts a lot better. Sometimes their head shape ain't, ain't really meant for it, so you have to stretch out the blend. So to keep in mind, obviously, if you want to stretch it out, you just make bigger guidelines. That's it. Thicker guidelines. It's going to be the same exact concept. So now for his edge up, I did go in with the one and a half guard just to clean up any little baby hair. If you, that's a great tip for you guys out there. If you guys want to make their edge up really crispy, go in with the half guard or one and a half guard. It will leave all the hairs um, nice and short and basically it's still dark where you can get a nice edge up in and really make a nice crispy lineup. It'll still be good with the one and a half guard. So when doing his edge up, you do want to hit him with the razor to make it extra crispy, but just make sure you do stretch the skin. We are adding enhancement as well, half Kiss Express, half alcohol. It, you can also use water, 
just do half and half and you'll be good to go it's gonna stay on the skin or on the hair nicely just enhance enhances the overall haircut most of my clients like it and i'm sure i'm sure your clients will love it too but just make sure you talk to your clients to see if they really want uh want the enhancement if not it's also fine everything will work itself out so just in case you guys forgot this is what my client came in looking like this was the before and this is what i came up with i think the cut came out super dope nice solid blend with a little bit of messy look on top nothing too crazy just a little trim clean edge up solid edge up i think the cut came out super dope if you guys like it please make sure you guys like comment subscribe hit that notification bell that way you guys get alerted every time i drop a new video i do drop every monday for you guys so for my new subscribers and my old subscribers everybody i appreciate you guys uh, tuning in dm me on instagram follow me on tiktok and the world blends other than that it's your boy noel blends and i'll see you guys next week peace